All candidates participating in the forum were asked the same questions and were given the same amount of time to respond. This video was filmed by QAC TV and the questions were selected by editor Angela Price from Reader Suggestions. I'm Nicole Romeo reporting for the Bay Times and Record Observer. I'm here with Paul Comfort who is a Republican Commission candidate for District 1. Thank you for joining us. Sure, happy to be here. In two minutes or less, tell us a little bit about yourself and why you want to be a county commissioner. Okay. Well, I'm running for county commissioner because I love Queen Anne's County. I grew up here. Um, I, my parents moved here when I was 12 years old. I grew up on Kent Island in Kentmore, and I lived the great Kent Island life, you know, swimming in the bay, well, back when you could, uh, crabbing and fishing and, uh, you know, running in the woods, having a great time. And, you know, Queen Anne's County is my home. I grew up here, uh, got involved in... Um, from a very early age in politics and government here. I helped manage my brother's campaign for House of Delegates when I was 16 years old. I convinced them to run, and uh, I've been involved ever since then, volunteering. I represented the youth of the county at the Governor's Youth Advisory Council, later became president of that, went to Chesapeake College, became president of student government. Uh, right out of college, after I got my bachelor's from Maryland, uh, became the county's first transportation coordinator, started the county ride bus system. Uh, we got recognized as the best in Maryland in 1991, the best in America, the best small bus system in America. And um, then uh, about 10 years ago, I ran for state's attorney here in the county. And while I didn't win, I was selected to be the county administrator and uh, ran the county government here for four years and uh, helped start this television station and a bunch of other stuff that we did while I was there. And the reason I'm running is I think it's the next logical step of my life of service to the county. Um, I'm not running as a retirement job. I'm not running because I want to promote my business or anything like that. I'm running because I love the county. And I think I can make Queen Anne's County even a better place to live, work, and play. I grew up on Kent Island. I lived for 12 years in Sudlersville. I've lived for over a decade out in Roosburg. I've lived for 30 years and all 10 years or more in every part of the county. I understand the issues. I understand the people. And I think I've got the tools, having worked in government or around government most of my career, to really make a difference from day one as a county commissioner. Thank you. In two minutes or less, explain what you believe are the biggest issues facing the county. Well, my number one issue, and I think the number one issue facing the county, is really the quality of life of its citizens. Queen Anne's County is a great place to live, work, and play. But unfortunately, about 80% of us don't get to enjoy it very much because we have to get up early in the morning, drive to the Western Shore, and get home, you know, after the sun sets. So I'm gone every day, basically, you know, leave my house at 6.30 and get home at 6 at night. And um, a lot of parents are like that. I've got five kids, two in the school system here, don't have a lot of time to do a lot of after-school events. If we can find quality jobs for people that can work in this county as well as live here, it's like a magic silver bullet. Here's what I mean. So um, if we can get some high-quality jobs over here, the county can... Um, People that live in the county will you know, be off work at 4.30 or 5, can volunteer for after-school events. Also, the taxes paid by businesses will subsidize our homeowners' taxes. How does that work? Well, because businesses don't produce any children, and half of every tax dollar goes to the Board of Ed. So for every business that pays a dollar in property tax, 50 cents of that subsidizes yours and my homeowner's tax. So it's a great deal for citizens too. Businesses help subsidize the tax rate of citizens. You can live here and work here and enjoy what the county has to offer. Um, and I think the number one way to do that, to start off with, is we have to re-engage the county in economic development. Queen Anne's County is the only county in Maryland without an economic development office. We're the only county in Maryland without a tourism office. The county disbanded it a few years ago when times were tough. We've got to re-engage economic development. And that's going to be job number one if I'm elected. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the proposed Four Seasons development? Well, the Four Seasons development has uh, created a civil war in this county over the last 10 years or more. I was county administrator when there were some things going on with that. Uh, it's a done deal uh, as far as the commissioners go with this, uh, with this current decision. Um, it's waiting at the Board of Public Works uh, for a vote on a permit. Uh, is it the same deal I would have made? Absolutely not. I would have made a lot of differences in it. but. Uh, as far as the commissioner's role in the Four Seasons development, as far as the attorneys have told me that, that are involved with the county, that the commissioners have no more bites at that apple. Uh, if I could go back in time, I would definitely change the deal, less houses. I, wouldn't have, I would not have uh, taken out the second road out of the development. I think that's a mistake. Having one way in and one way out is going to cause problems there, I believe. If a car, I know the circle might be able to handle the traffic, but if a car breaks down on Castle Marina Road, it's going to be bad for the people that are there or getting public services in there. So I guess my position is it's not the deal I would have made. Previous commissioners have made this deal. If I'm elected, I'm going to try to make it. If we have any more bites at the apple, I'm going to try to make it as best as possible for the current citizens of this county. Thank you.
In one minute or less, what is your position on the public sewer for Southern Kent Island? Yeah, I was at the hearing, uh, as a lot of five or 600 people were uh, a little bit ago on that. So um, something has to be done down in Southern Kent Island. When I was county administrator, John Nickerson, our environmental health officer, took the commissioners and me down on a tour, and we saw with our own eyes pipes coming out of the back of people's houses, going into the ditches. I don't think it was water from the toilet, but it was gray water, nevertheless. And um, so there definitely is some issues down there. Whether or not the current proposed step system is the answer, I'm not 100% sure. I've looked at some of the issues. I've talked with the public works director. I've talked with other folks. Something should be done. Again, my understanding is the commissioners who are in office now have told me that decision is going to be made by December before I get there, so if I'm elected. So if I'm elected, I'm going to work to, again, I want to do a little more research on it. I want to have some more presentations to us. I'm not sure the payment structure system is exactly how I would have it. I'm not 100% sure all the financing is in place, but something needs to be done down there, and I would support something, but not 100% sure the STEP system is the, the best solution. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on a public pool for the county and the YMCA project? Yeah, I'm all in favor of a pool for the county. As a matter of fact, the guy that owns Club One has told us that he was willing to put one in without any tax dollars and uh, would have put in an Olympic-sized pool on Kent Island, probably where there's a bigger market for it, um, and uh, could have had the school system there. Unfortunately, in my opinion, the county got involved. I don't think the county should borrow $8 million to put up a public pool. We already are near the capacity of our debt, uh, our debt capacity, and um, I'm not in favor of borrowing $8 million. I'd be all in favor of, you know, giving the YMCA some county land if they wanted to come here uh, to help kind of kickstart the project, but not borrow tax dollars to support one business that when another business has already offered to provide that service. Thank you. In one minute or less, what is your position on the new parking permit required to access public beaches at county parks, commonly being called the beach permit? I'm 100% opposed to it, and it will be my number one motion if I'm elected. The first night in office, I will make a motion to scuttle that plan. I think it's an outrage that the county commissioners have an $8 million surplus this year uh, and are going to charge an extra permit fee to put a couple rangers down there to clean up the beach or to help whatever. I've got a whole different plan. I've outlined it on my website and on my Facebook page. I'm at comfort, the number four, commissioner.com. Um, uh, we can clean up the beach. I've already talked with the sheriff about it. There's ways we can bring in more law enforcement, but we do not need to be charging the citizens of Queen Anne's County an extra fee or a permit. This is a Republican administration, for heaven's sake. We should not be adding permits and fees to our citizens. Thank you. In one minute or less, please describe your plan for achieving the county's stated goals of controlling growth while promoting economic development. Right. Well, as I said, my number one goal is economic development. One minute is not a big time to talk about uh, growth and economic development, but I will tell you this. Uh, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of homes on the books slated to come to Kent Island. Uh, it, the plan, plan Maryland has made it very difficult for the county to create new growth areas. I personally would like to move toward creating a new growth area up between Centerville and Chesapeake College and push most of our, most of our residential growth there. Um, but my number one objective is going to be to increase our economic development efforts. I want to hire a, um, a business recruiter. We don't have to add staff to the county. We have 400 staff. We can repurpose somebody. But somebody needs to be focused on that. The uh, Amazon warehouse that's in Middletown, Delaware, should be in Millington, Maryland. That's where it ought to be. And we ought to have somebody who's got a radar screen out in the horizon looking for opportunities and helping our local businesses grow to bring jobs to this county to keep us a great place to live, work, and play. Thank you. Finally, in one minute or less, would you like to revisit any of the issues we discussed or add anything that we've missed talking about? Sure. Uh, the other issues I'm working on uh, are four issues. Uh, the first one is economic development. Second is I want to work to improve our educational system. We've got a good system. I've got a child in Centerville Elementary and one in Centerville Middle, another one at Chesapeake College. I really support Chesapeake College. I was a graduate from there, as I mentioned. Uh, but there's a lot more we could do to coordinate what the county commissioners are doing with the Board of Ed and to make sure there's good communication there and to make sure the commissioners are involved in some of the um, uh, the financial decisions that were made uh, when it comes to budget items to make sure that there's good communication with the Board of Ed. I want to, I'm, I'm not really in favor of the Common Core curriculum. I don't know there's a lot that the commissioners can do about that, but I would work with our superintendent and Board of Ed to see what we can do to modify that, if at all, uh, to make the implementation of it better. Um, and the other big issue I'm working on is taxes. I want to keep our taxes low. When I was county administrator, I worked with our county commissioners, the board of commissioners, to reduce taxes several times down to 77 cents per $100 of assessed value. We're the fourth lowest in the state. If I'm elected commissioner, I'm going to look for ways to reduce our income tax and our property tax. We can do it without gutting government or doing any cross-the-board draconian cuts, but we need to keep the tax burden on our citizens reasonable. Thank you, and thank you for participating in our forum. Thank you for having me.